The electron transport chain is a set of enzymes which is located on the inner mitochondrial membrane and it is the main source of energy in the aerobic pathway of energy generation. Hello guys and welcome to Med Simplified. In this video we will study about the overview, the concepts, the role of various enzyme complexes and energy calculations in the electron transport chain. Before beginning, make sure to hit the subscribe button below for all the upcoming videos from Med Simplified, and also make sure to hit the like button on our Facebook page for all the flashcards and other stuff. Before watching the video on electron transport chain, also make sure to watch the videos on Krebs cycle, glycolysis, and beta oxidation. You can find the links for the videos in the description of this video. Now let's talk about the overview of the electron transport chain first. The mitochondria has an outer mitochondrial membrane, an inner mitochondrial membrane. The space between these membranes is called the intermembrane space. And inside we have the matrix of the mitochondria. If we look at a close section of the membrane structure of the mitochondria, we can see the structure of the electron transport chain. So here we have the outer mitochondrial membrane, the inner mitochondrial membrane, the intermembrane space. The inner mitochondrial membrane contains four sets of enzyme complexes which are named from 1 to 4 in Roman numerals. The matrix of the mitochondria also contains numerous other cycles like Krebs cycle and beta oxidation. If you have watched the video on these topics, you know that these cycles produce reducing equivalents called NADH and FADH2. These reducing equivalents contain electrons which are donated to this set of enzyme complexes. The electrons then travel from the first to the fourth enzyme complex. And in this movement, energy is generated. This energy is utilized in pumping hydrogen ions into the intermembrane space from the matrix of the mitochondria. This continuous pumping of hydrogen ions into the intermembrane space causes the generation of a higher concentration of hydrogen ions in the intermembrane space as compared to the matrix of the mitochondria. This generates a positive charge in the intermembrane space and a negative charge in the matrix of the mitochondria. This is called the electrochemical gradient. The hydrogen ions cannot cross against this electrochemical gradient because the inner mitochondrial membrane is non-permeable to ions. So here we require a special transporter. The enzyme ATP synthase comes into play. The ATP synthase transports hydrogen ions into the matrix of the mitochondria and uses the energy generated from the flow of hydrogen ions to phosphorylate adenosine diphosphate into adenosine triphosphate. This is the basis of generation of energy in the form of ATP which is a currency of energy in our body. Now let's talk about the various electron transport chain complexes. What you see here is the inner mitochondrial membrane which has these electron transport chain complexes. These complexes are numbered from 1 to 4 in Roman numerals. And in addition to all the four complexes, we also have two additional prosthetic groups called the coenzyme Q and cytochrome C. So let's first talk about the complex number 1. The complex 1 of the electron transport chain is named as NADH dehydrogenase complex. It is also known as the NADH oxidoreductase. The first complex is a L-shaped protein complex which is present in the inner mitochondrial membrane. It has two arms. The vertical arm is located inside the inner mitochondrial membrane whereas the horizontal arm is located inside the matrix of the mitochondria. It is very easy to understand the function of any enzyme of electron transport chain by just understanding its nomenclature. So the complex 1 is called NADH dehydrogenase complex because it is a dehydrogenase which removes hydrogen. It removes hydrogen from the reduced form of the nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. And it is called a complex because it also contains flavine mononucleotides and iron sulfur compounds. It is called oxidoreductase because dehydrogenation is an example of oxidation reduction reaction. 
The main job of this complex is to receive electrons from NADH and transport it further to the electron transport chain. Now coming to the complex 2 of the electron transport chain. The complex 2 is called succinate dehydrogenase complex. It is called a dehydrogenase because it removes hydrogen from compounds. In this case, it will remove hydrogen from the succinate and oxidize it to fumarate, which is a step of the Krebs cycle. And similarly, it is called a complex because it also contains iron sulfur clusters in addition to succinate dehydrogenase. The second complex is a part of Krebs cycle which catalyzes the reaction for oxidation of succinate to fumarate. In this reaction, the reducing equivalent FADH2 is produced, which is utilized for donation of electrons in the electron transport chain. The complex 3 of the electron transport chain is called the cytochrome reductase. It is also known as the Q-cytochrome C oxidoreductase. Now, cytochromes are a group of proteins which have heme as their complexes or the prosthetic groups. They also have iron core in which the iron can exist in an oxidized or reduced form depending on the electrons it has. The complex 3 contains three types of cytochromes, the cytochrome B, cytochrome C1 and cytochrome C. The main job of the complex 3 is to accept electrons from the electron transport chain and then transport it to the cytochrome C. The cytochrome C then transports these electrons to the complex 4 of the electron transport chain. The complex 4 is called the cytochrome C oxidase. It is a heme and copper containing complex whose main job is to oxidize cytochrome C that is to receive electrons from cytochrome C and then it uses those electrons for the reduction of oxygen to water and hence it is called cytochrome C oxidase. In the next video about the electron transport chain, we will study about how exactly the electron transport chain works. And we will also study about the various energy calculations in electron transport chain. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe us on YouTube for all the latest videos and also make sure to follow us on Facebook for the latest updates. You can support Math Simplified by buying on any shopping website like Flipkart, Amazon, eBay, Snapdeal and many other sites through the affiliate links given in the description below. Whatever you buy, a small percentage of that will be donated to Math Simplified which is used for covering the cost of equipment, softwares and maintenance of this channel. You can also donate directly to Math Simplified. All links are given in the description below.